translate briefly. The first part of the question is about Nuray Mert and her position. Uh, the gentleman asked um, you were one of the... Suggested. suggested. Uh, <laughs> said that Nuray Mert was a very strong supporter of AKP government when it first started and she was actually making a lot of um, positive remarks about the AKP, AKP party while she was doing the television show and he's asking how her position has changed and if, if she has started being so critical after the Prime Minister's uh, Prime Minister targeting her personally. The second part was about Syria, and the gentleman asked why Turkey, how Turkey resisted, first of all, getting involved in Syria for so long, and why is it getting involved in Syria now, right now? I'll start from the last question. Actually, uh, probably, if we may have time, I may also switch to Turkish to answer such questions. And Curiosity is concerning my political position. Um, uh, I have never been very strong supporter of justice and development party, but I have always been a very key supportive uh, supporter of rights and liberties of conservatives. This is how why I differ from Republicans or rigid understanding of secularism. I, I always thought that secularism is essential, undeniable precondition of democracy. But I never agreed with rigid understanding of, of secularism. And I thought it's it's harmful for it's an obstacle for, for democratic politics. <laughs> that is why I have been less very key very sincere, supportive of Islamists for long. And I have been supporter of lifting the ban on headscars. I am still supporting this cause, despite of this government. And I think this government failed to keep up uh, his promises concerning religious freedoms, some of the religious freedoms. Freedoms, for instance, uh, women with headscarves, I think, should be able to enter into parliament and should be able to be all sorts of professionals. I don't take uh, this division of public space, private space seriously. I think headscarf women should easily participate into public space. And all that, I never changed my position, neither before or after Prime Minister attacked me. It has nothing to do with that. It was totally against my criticism of his authoritarian politics concerning Turkish Christian and his uh, intolerance of me concerning my support for Kurdish politics, for Kurdish rights and Liberties. And let me go back to Syrian question later. And uh, <coughs> first, I want to try to reply to the question about similarities. Probably, I don't know the subject uh, that there are similarities between the Democrat Party of fifties and the governing party, current government party. I'm not comparing only uh, the government. Uh, I'm not comparing government ruling party with only with this 
uh, Democrat Party of 50s. I think that there is this, this is the beginning of 50s, is the beginning of, it's the introduction of multi-party period in Turkey. And it's, it's the beginning of, of right-wing discourse, starting, rising of right-wing discourse. And after that, this period, as you know, ended up with 1960 military war. And then in 60s and 70s, this tradition continued under the name of Central Right Wing Party, what was the name? Adalet Party. Justice, Justice, Justice. Party. And uh, uh, actually, this right wing politics were divided for the first time in mid 60s. And the uh, Democrat Party supported.